On the line to sign, 24 students were recognized for making bold statements against crime and violence in their communities through the art of extempo. Jesse Leos has a report on the Youth Empowerment Project's Anti-Crime and Violence Youth Extempo Challenge prize-giving ceremony. During a recent awards ceremony, officials of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force and the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice, Local Government and Empowerment tipped their hats off to the participants of the Anti-Crime and Violence Youth Extempo Challenge for the creativity and conviction that they brought to the stage on June 6th. Coordinator for the Ministry's Youth Empowerment Project, Joanne Husbands, says the initiative successfully yielded fresh insight on the issue of crime and violence and how it can be tackled. We were able to get an idea of their perceptions, their concerns and possible solutions as youth as it relates to crime, violence, safety and community development. And as well, they endeavoured to educate persons about preventative strategies that other youth like themselves and persons in the wider community can employ. The topics ranged from bullying, violence against women, the justice system, and ways to improve the living standards in the communities. Assistant Commissioner of Police Dr. Mashama Seeley recalls the hesitance of some of the participants when they realized during the workshop that there was so much more to Annex Temple than rhyming lines. She thanks them for rising to the challenge. Because I attended at least one of your workshops, I saw where you started off, where some people were afraid to, they didn't want to participate after having gone through some of the workshop activities because they felt they may not be ready in time. But I'd like to also congratulate you for your bravery. I also love the messages that were portrayed by the participants. We heard the challenges that they face when it comes to gang violence, domestic violence, parenting, and other social issues that affect us every single day. Jim Xavier, Deputy Director of the Social Transformation Community Services Unit with the Ministry, has committed to continue collaborating with the Royal St. Lucia Police Force in efforts toward enhancing safety and security in St. Lucia's communities. I want to see this as a deepening of collaboration between the Ministry of Equity and the, the Royal St. Lucia Police Force and, and of course the community at large. Because as we've said, crime, crime is everybody's business. Uh, we cannot just leave it to the police officers to tackle the issue of crime. And even the students, you have a role to play. And so I would want to compliment the, the year program, of course, for funding and taking initiative to really advance this program. I want to again compliment the teachers and the, the, the parents who would have assisted in the students in developing them. The Anti-Crime and Violence Youth Extempo engaged 24 participants in three age categories from various schools and communities in Castries. The feedback obtained from the participants will be used by the Royal St. Lucia Police Force to create new strategies to tackle the issues of crime and violence. For the Government Information Service, I am Jesse Leons reporting.